Hello, welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play, and I'm Rachel. So thank you for giving a thumbs up. You can go ahead and do that now. I appreciate the ones in the past and the ones in the future. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed before. I am waiting to welcome you. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make some haddock fish chowder. Haddock fish chowder. Mm-hmm. So, what usually when um, you get fish chowder in the restaurant or the store, it's uh, Polak fish or some other type of fish. But, you know, I did a shopping haul and I bought some haddock fish. So, I bought uh, 23 pieces of haddock fish for $38 and 75 cents making each piece cost a dollar 68 cents I'm going to be using two pieces for the chowder and so that's going to come to three dollars and thirty six that was three dollars and thirty six cents that we're going to pay for our haddock fish chowder today okay I'm using one very large white potato that's fifty cents so my hopes is to come in well under five dollars for this dish a lot less probably but we'll do the math okay all right so let's do it let's do it thumbs up thank you okay so in this pot here I've already added nine ounces of water which is about half of this pot of water okay so now let's add this is one large onion that I cut up like so. I'm going to add the onions and we're going to add the white potatoes. I had one very large white potato that we're going to add here. Okay and we're going to let that get started boiling and um, once that starts boiling then we'll add other items. Okay, so this is my two pieces of haddock fish right here. So I got this as a great deal and my purpose for the shopping hauls and to show you how to break down your, your meat so that you can get the most from it to save you money is so that you can then start implementing that at your house. Save, 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 and put that money to some other use. Okay. All right, so now we're going to take the haddock fish and we're going to cut it up. We're cutting it right down the middle. like so and then we're going to cut it into pieces cutting right across Okay, and I'm going to do the same for this piece, except this is a little bigger, so I'm going to cut it twice the long way. And then cut it across. Okay, so that's what we're looking like. And this is what the pieces are looking like. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to sanitize my counter and I'll come back and um, season up the 
uh, onions in the water. We're going to put some chicken base in there and some other seasonings. And then we'll uh, continue on. Be right back. Okay, so our potatoes and onions have been cooking for about seven minutes. Let's add our seasoning and um, chicken base. Okay, so here's a heaping tablespoonful. So I'm going to add one, two, three heaping tablespoons of chicken base. Black pepper. I'm using celery salt because I don't have any celery. If I had celery, I would have used the celery along with the onions. Celery salt, give that flavor. And a pinch of garlic. A pinch of garlic. Okay, and we're going to let that cook for about another 10 minutes. Okay, and I'll be back. Okay, so we're going to make a roux. This is a half a stick of butter that I have in this frying pan here. Now we're going to add the flour. A roux is butter or margarine and flour. One, two, three heaping tablespoons of flour. And you just want to mix the flour and the butter together until it gets really thick. And that's all a roux is. So you see, that quick, we just made a roux. Okay, so once it's nice and smooth and you don't see any more lumps, it's done. And it's thick. Okay. I'm going to cut that off. going to sit it over here a minute until we're ready to add it to our fish, our haddock fish chowder. And I'm checking to see if the potato is soft. If it's not, we're not ready. Let's see. Not quite, but it's good to add the fish in now. So this is our two pieces of haddock fish, remember? I'm going to add that in. Let that come back up to a boil and we're going to add also to that heavy cream. Let me get that. I'll be right back. 
Okay. So now let's add our roux. I'm going to add the balance of it. So when you add the roux, you'll see that it'll start, it'll start getting, getting thick right away. Okay, now I have some heavy cream. And you want to just add a little at a time. And you're going to see it change to a whitish color. And the cream also is going to thicken up the haddock chowder. Okay, that was a half a cup of heavy cream. And there we have it. We have our haddock fish chowder. Okay, let me taste for you. Let me give you the word of the day. The word of the day is stretch. Stretch your budget. So you can see how I took two pieces of haddock fish and now we have a whole meal. You have uh, the chowder that you can serve as a meal. Okay. You, um, the cost was inexpensive. The, let's see, where were we at? The haddock fish, the two pieces, was $3.36. And then we used a uh, potato, one large potato, that was $0.50. Cent. So we're under $4 there. And uh, we used a half a stick of butter and some flour. We added that to another dollar. So under $5 for the haddock fish chowder. You can't beat that. Okay? If you buy one container, which is about a half a pint at the store or at the restaurant that's uh three dollars and thirty nine cents and that's enough for just one person okay and you you're doing this for four great deal that's the word that you want to take home you're really stretched on the haddock uh, chowder okay let me taste okay let me let you get a view of the haddock fish chowder. Oh boy. Look at that. And here's the pot. Oh wow. Okay, let me taste. It's hot, so I'm just going to take some on this tablespoon. I can see the chunks of haddock.
Let me blow. Oh, you can't see me. Okay, here we go. I can taste the chunks of haddock fish right away as soon as it hit my mouth. And the taste is really, really good. Great flavor. It makes you want to just have more and more and more. Under $5 for a family of four. You enjoy that, will you? Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.